Okay, let's figure out how to put a password on a Google Form. Okay, it's not really a password, but it works a lot the same way in my classroom, and I'm really excited about it. So I'm going to show you how I do it. I'm Jen Roberts. You can find me on Twitter at JenRoberts1. So to get started, I'm putting a password on a Google Form. You need to be in your Google Drive, and you need to create a new form. Okay, so this form is untitled. We'll give it a title. We'll call it uh, password test. But you could call it math quiz, reading quiz, whatever you want to call it. Now the very first question we're going to put on our form is the password. Enter the password for this quiz or this form or whatever you like. Now we'll change that question to a text box. And here's where we're going to put the password on. We're going to use the advanced settings for this question. And we're going to use data validation. So you select data validation. You change it from number to text. And you make sure the word contains is in this box here. You could also have does not contain or email address or URL, but we're going to go with contains. And then you enter what you want to be the password. So let's call the password today Google Forms. If a student doesn't type in Google Forms exactly like that with a capital G and the capital F, they won't be able to progress to the next page of your form. And of course, make this a required question. Now, the only reason this actually password protects your form is if you, you want the students not to be able to see what's on the next page. So our next step is to add another item, and that item needs to be a page break so that they have to enter the password to be able to get to the next page. Say done. And now after page one, continue to the next page. And the next page could be the quiz questions or it could be the page where you ask for their name and which period they're in and things like that. But the password page will stop them from getting any further. So let's see how this looks on our real live form. To do that, we click view live form. It opens a new tab. And now we have the first page requiring our password. So we're going to type that in. I type in Google Forms, and it lets me continue to the quiz questions. Now, if I go back and I type something else, like it says, I know how to fix that. We don't want to tell it what the right answer is. So we have to come back. And under Advanced Settings again, the custom error text will be That's an important step I forgot. Now we say done. We go back to our form. And this time when I enter the wrong password, it says, are you sure that's the password? And that is how you add a page to the front of a Google form that requires students to put in an answer. So I would use this when I want all my students to start taking a quiz at exactly the same time. I could have each of them pull up this page on their computer. And then when I was ready, I would give them all the password and they would be able to enter it and go on to take the quiz. Another great tip with this is to make the password a spelling word that your students get wrong all the time. And so definitely is often one of the passwords on my forms, but don't tell my students. Google Forms are great. And now you can make sure that only your students are taking your quiz and only when you want them to. Thanks for watching.